Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Den, where we exposing all the evil and still showing love to our people. Oh, Welcome to yeah. the Lions Den, where we taking care of the pride. pride. Now watch us start exposing all the lies. Welcome Ooh. to the Lions Den, like Picasso, we painting pictures, Hits. really giving the knowledge from the scriptures. scriptures. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Lions Den, where we always putting in work. The prophets of God are back on the earth. Them Welcome to the Lions Den. Got the heart of a lion, lions. created to endure. tuned into the lion's den radio show that's right radio show. that's right hey um how y'all doing man hey i wasn't talking to y'all talking to the world how y'all doing out there world <laughs> talking hey. to all those lost black hispanics and native americans if you didn't know now you know you're the israelites hey uh we made another week um <laughs> once again uh we'll introduce ourselves uh i'm captain oc Officer Kimmy Well. Officer Aaron. Officer Nathaniel. All right, so we'll be your uh, your host today for the Lions Den Radio Show. We got a lot of good content. Absolutely. But before we get into that content, uh, you know, I like to, you know, break the ice. You know, how, how was you, man, week this week? Uh, what about you, Officer Aaron? How was your week, big dog? Uh, pretty good. Long, long. Couldn't wait to get back to the school. So yeah. Pretty just made it through another week. So um, you said back to the school. Where you been at? Oh. On injured reserve. Oh, I was on injured reserve. <laughs> uh, MOV football game put Dang. me out. Dang. Two weeks. Two weeks. You was on Two the weeks. IR. I'm icing on the couch. <laughs> Watching Bishop class. <laughs> all praise, all praise. Hey, Brian. Uh, lines in the field that, yeah. that tripped him up. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about you, all saying? How, how your week been? Hey, everything been good, man. Copacetic, man. LeBron um, James. Hey, um, I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but um. I think the uh, the backdrop looks a little different, y'all. The set yeah, looks no. good. Hey, right. got to bring that we out. We want to hear from the people. What y'all think about the new look Lions Den right. radio show? If you want to call in, we want to hear your comments. It's uh, 863-877-0693. You know, a lot of brothers put in a lot of work to make the uh, set look nice. That's so, right. uh, you want to call in, share a few comments, go ahead. But uh, until then... You know what we do on the Lions Day radio show. We going to bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. So, uh, Officer Kim Yell going to lead the show today, oh. put it together. So, let's get right to it, man. What you got? Thanks for that. I, 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 I <laughs> uh, Surprised. Uh, so, uh, let's see. What's our first article? Um, so, five police officers quit hmm. after a man dies pleading. Do you think I want to die? Dang. Dang. So, Dang. so. Once again, we have a brother or sister of ours dying in police custody. Mm. Bang. Hey, Reed, uh, y'all got something else for them to look at? That's kind of far away. We got somewhere else? <laughs> right. You going to blow that up? Or, hey, uh, brother's going to go blind trying to read that. <laughs> <laughs> who we, who, who's reading today? Who's reading today? I'll read. All right. It says, five police officers have quit before they could be fired. After failing to get medical help for a man who died in custody. Wait a minute, hold on. Huh? They quit before they was fired, right? <laughs> hey, now right. you know, that's what we do. Right, right. <laughs> hey, want the job right. anyway? Right. 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 That's what black folks do. You know what I'm saying? And that, that also hey. means they know they was guilty. Right. right. They right. got up out of there. Knew they was right. going to get fired. Right. 
Hey, Distressing it. footage shows Harold Easter say, do you think I want to die? As he gripped a table in his cell. The 41-year-old has swallowed cocaine after being stopped by police in Charlotte, North Carolina, CNN reports. Scroll up. Officers were aware that he had swallowed the drugs during the arrest, but did not get him the attention he needed, investigators said. Mm. So what you're showing me is they was more concerned about getting this man in jail, right. getting him booked, and meeting a quota than his actually health of him. And right, they knew that right. he, he had he had did the cocaine. Yeah. So this is showing you that these people, they do not care about us as individuals. Right. Because I can guarantee you, if that was one of their own, they would have made sure that he was they would have took him to the hospital and then they would have uh they would have uh put him in, in cups or whatnot. Right. But after he's under medical care. Right. What's right. the proof of that? Somebody find a picture of uh Dylan Roof. Because hmm. if you you can kill how many of you killed nine people? Like you nine, can kill yeah. nine people, and they're going to make sure your needs are met before right. they take you in. Right. But when it's our people, they don't do that. Take it at Burger King. Right. Nice America. Yeah, pull that picture this up. This is America. That, absolutely right about that. Is, is that the bag in his hand? I can't see. I'm blind. So this is Dylan Roof. Um, His, his uh, medical needs was he was hungry. So <laughs> after he after he did what he did and he was in police custody, they made sure he was taken care of before they booked him. Right, right, right. But brother right here is has has uh intaked cocaine and they he died in a cell. Mm. Dang. Matter of fact, let's get this. Bishop brought this out last night. Let's go to Isaiah fifty one, hidden in uh prison houses. Was it forty two and twenty two? Yeah, yeah. forty two and twenty two. This 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 article is showing you. The prophecies of the Bible are true. This is why our brothers, a lot of our brothers and sisters die. Hmm. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. Bring it out. Mm -hmm. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. This is a people robbed and spoiled. Read. They are all of them snared in holes. Uh -huh. And they are hid in prison houses. A lot of times when we read that, we say they hid. We, we, we know that it's talking about, you know, the, the large amount of brothers and sisters that are in there. But they also hid by death. A lot of people, when, when they go into prison, they're not seen, they're not heard, they die, and nobody knows about it. Right. Right. By the millions. I forgot what the number was that uh, you was paying attention. What did you say the number of us was? Well, you're talking about the, the population. Right, right, right. The, well, the population of the United States, mm -hmm. including all the people in the United States, is less than 5% of the world's right. Right. population. Dang. But All yet, right. um, we make up the largest in mm. this country, the largest prison population. And us, our men, make up half of that. Right, right. Mm. So, hey, finish that scripture real quick. They are for a prey. They are what? They are for a prey. They are for a prey. You know what a prey is? Prey is something that gets eaten. That's what happened to this brother. Right. They prayed on him and they made sure they got the arrest, they got him booked. They got them all that before they took care of them. Read. And none delivered. And what? And none delivered. That's the key part right there. This brother was in need of help to be delivered. He needed medical help. Right. right. Did they deliver him? Absolutely not. Read. For a spoil. For a what? For a spoil. Read. And none saith restore. You see that? Nobody says restore. I guarantee you it won't be an $18 million policy or $20 million policy for his family. And at the end of the day, nothing can repay your, 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 your life. Right. Go to Ecclesiastes 4 and 1 real quick. It's the last one I want. Let me show you. Show you something. This is what's happening to our people. This story is a perfect example of that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. So out. I returned and considered all the oppressions. So I considered all the oppressions. Read. That are done under the sun. Uh -huh. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. Right. That's what this brother, that's, that's tears. The brother right. said, do you think I want to die? You're telling people that have the authority, they have the ability. Right. They have the power right. to keep you alive. Even though we're not, we're not justifying the brother. Brothers in wickedness. Right. right Selling right. cocaine, smoking cocaine, all that stuff. What uh what did uh <laughs> what did uh uh what did that lean on me? You smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> uh, okay. uh what that Sam uh, Sam? Yeah. Sam But Bruh. at the end of the day, the police have a um a role to play. Right, right. They're supposed to protect and serve. Serve and protect. Right. right. Serve and protect. Right. Yeah, you used to be a police officer. So <laughs> they have their role to play. Read. 
And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. Read. And they had no comforter. And what? They had no comforter. You see that? We don't have no comfort. The police ain't for our help. The EMTs ain't for our help. Right. The teachers ain't for our help. Right. right. The government ain't for our help. Right. The, the Israelites don't have any comfort here. This is the land of our captivity. Read. And on the side of their oppressors, uh -huh. there was power. What did it say? On the side of their oppressors, there was power. On the side of the police officers, there was power. Because right. they could have opened up the, the prison cell. Mm -hmm. They could have took the chains off, and they could have got him medical access. Right, right, right. right, right but right. he didn't have that power. And his own people couldn't have delivered him in that situation. Mm -hmm. Because that's when, once you get in that, that system, can't nobody save you. you, you right, your right. mama can come up there. Your daddy can come up there. They can tell you. If they don't want to let you go, they don't. And you'll right. die. Dang. You'll die. You they, don't give you bond. they don't give you bond. Right. right. You ain't getting out. There you go. Um, I, I do want to go back to yeah. uh, Isaiah chapter 42. Yes, Bring sir. It Bring it and um, jump down to verse 24. Because like you said, uh, we are in this position, right? Uh, we have people robbed and spoiled. We can see that on a grand scale, right? But we're going to show you exactly why these things are happening. Because a lot of people say, yeah, we see that on right. a, a grand level, right? And we look for any uh, solution outside of out of it. We right. go into voting, right? right? We go into uh, protesting, right. whatever it may be, right? But we're going to show you exactly why we're in this situation. All right. The book of Isaiah, there. chapter 42 and verse 24. Bring it out. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? So the scripture above says we are for a spoil, but who gave us for a spoil? Right. All right, go ahead. And Israel to the robbers. Right, because what did they do? They not only took, they took us. They took our land. They took our nationality. Took everything. Right. Go ahead. Did not the Lord? Did not who? Did not the Lord? Right. Go ahead. He against whom we have sinned. Because we have sinned right, against God. Right. So that's why we are for a spoil. That's why we fill the prison houses. Right. Go ahead. For they would not walk in His ways. Uh huh. Neither were they obedient unto His law. Because we refuse to keep the laws of God. There you go. So that's why we put ourselves. We put ourselves in yep, this situation. Absolutely. Right. We put ourselves in this situation. Nobody's gonna get us out. But what? So we have to keep. Name is a guy. All oh, right. Preach. Right. Excellent preach. I got something I want to bring out, but I want to see. The, I want to show the video. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I didn't know they were the video. Pull, pull the next um, the next one up, and let's see the video of it. All right. Because, uh, okay, you got it. You ready? All right, let's go. Video, the disturbing videos released by CMPD, they show Harold Easter in police custody. He was arrested for drug possession back on January 23rd. While in custody, he reportedly swallowed some cocaine and then suffered a seizure. Easter died three days later. Since the incident, four officers and a sergeant involved have resigned. Let's bring in WCNC Charlotte's Alex Shabad. Alex, these videos were hard to watch. Yeah, that's certainly true, Fred. Chief Jennings says it's one of the most difficult videos he's ever had to watch. So we do want to warn you again, it's very disturbing. And we want to start with that traffic stop on January 23rd. Put your hands up! It starts on January 23rd when officers pull over the black SUV with guns drawn. Easter's in a red hoodie in the driver's seat while another man is in the front passenger side and a third person in the back. Then officers indicate they have reason to believe Easter swallowed cocaine. Yeah, he was trying to eat it. Easter is taken into handcuffs into the patrol car. Chief Johnny Jennings says that's when officers should have called for an ambulance, but didn't. As soon as they secured Mr. Easter in handcuffs, uh, they somebody should have gotten on the radio and asked dispatch to start medic their way to do an evaluation for him. Instead, they start heading to the police station on Beatty's Ford Road. When they pull up to the building, Easter gets out of the patrol car and had been repeatedly asking for water, but was initially denied. And it wasn't long after that, things took a turn for the worse. Another video in the interview room shows officers giving Easter water and then they go off the screen. About 25 minutes later in the video, with Easter apparently alone in the room, he makes a dire warning. Moments later, he's screaming incoherently. And then about three minutes after that, Easter collapses and appears to be convulsing on the floor. So... The brother, now, you can tell he's in medical distress. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Even though he's in custody, he's in medical distress. Um, but, you know, to your point, yeah, we bring this on. We bring this upon ourselves, right? Yes, but what I find interesting, we'll be at a camp, mm -hmm. and it'll be these same brothers right. 
that'll go against the doctrine and be like, hey, y'all racist, God right, love everybody. Right, right. right. right? We, we racist because we telling you you the best people on the, <laughs> on, the, on the greatest people on the face of the earth. But then this is how they do you right. in custody, right? Yep. right, right. So I want to read um, Isaiah. I want to read Psalms, actually. Psalms uh, 58. I want to read Psalms 58. Hey, man, I, that video, that's... How can you Sorry. see him, man? Yeah, how can you right, see right. him? You see he's clearly out of his mind, and you already knew he had the cocaine in his body. Right, right. You knew the reaction that was going to come from it. Wow. And, and, and when the brother said it, it was hard to watch. No, it's hard for us to watch. Yeah, right. It ain't right. hard for them to watch. Right, right, right. You know. With no problem. Uh, uh, Three through five. The book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse three. Bring it out. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Mm -hmm. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. That's the point that I wanted. They're like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ears because they don't they don't hear our cries right. for help. Mm. Not at all. And and they probably on the other side. And I wouldn't be surprised if they on the other side of the of wall laughing and laughing. Giggling. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know. Right. Uh, uh, giving a countdown. How right. long? How long? Yeah. How long you think before you start? Right. Season? Right. 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 Ah. Verse five, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Because when you in that position and you beg and you, you, you trying to charm them, just like uh, the last one where we saw the sister flipped upside down in the back mm -hmm. of the police car, begging the, the, the officer, calling him master. Yeah. Right. You right. know, it says, uh, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Go ahead. Charming never so wisely. So I, I, I wanted to bring that out, but I wanted to get the, the uh, visual effect that this is what they do to us. And our people have got to wake up and understand who God said that our enemies are. Right, right, right. All right, let's go to the next uh, next uh, material that we got. Uh, so what we got next? Uh-oh, yeah, I saw this one. You saw I this saw one? this one. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this for uh, all you... Um, <laughs> What is NFAC members out there? Right, right, right. That right. think y'all ready for a war right, right. with Esau. Okay. Hey. So, hey, hey, you know, before we even read the article, <laughs> Jake, as a nation, who who was waiting on the stimulus checks? Right. <laughs> right. Black people right, was right. waiting, right. paying. Right. We still waiting. We're like, when that second one coming? Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got some Jake that's talking about they want to go to war with Esau. <laughs> Come and on, man. Right. They holding up the check. Nope. Right. After they buy up exactly. all the ammo. Exactly. Right. Uh, exactly. Right. But right. the fact is, when you go to war, when you read uh, Luke 14, you got to count You got to count the cost. Right. Mm -hmm. To go to war means you have to have supplies. You got to right. have bullets, right. Right. guns, food, water, shelter in many different places. <laughs> Men, not, not one place. Right. 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 If you only got one place, they mm -hmm. bomb that, then what? Right. You done? Bang. Go ahead. You, you're going to see also, Psych. when we read this article, and, and I got a video for this too, how much Esau lies, because mm. uh, I know I know some brothers that have tried to get ammo, right? Right, and you go to the store, and they may or may not sell you the ammo that you want, mm -hmm. and then they're only going to give you a box of it. Right. I think um, Captain Dang. REA bought that out on, uh, on Patient Saints. Right. But to their people... They can get what they want. Right, right, right. They can get right. what they want, yep. you know? Hey, let's go ahead and read that. Americans are frantically buying military gear before the election. Conflict is on America's streets in 2020, and tactical apparel has become a lifestyle industry serving, serving militarized law enforcement agents and freelance gunsmen, gunmen who emulate them. Less than two weeks before. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you read that. Well, you got to go back and read that. Again. Yeah, yeah, that went on my head. Again. It says, <laughs> conflict is on America's streets in 2020, uh -huh. and tactical apparel has become a lifestyle industry serving militarized law enforcement agents mm. and freelance gunmen who emulate them. Stop. Mm. That's what I wanted to yeah. see. Right. Mm. Freelance. What does that mean? Mm. That's the vigilantes. <laughs> right. What does that mean? Right. The vigilantes. What is that? so uh, freelance? That, you know, that's those that uh they, they fake like they cops, right. pull you over, mm -hmm. right? Go out in, in in their tactical gear, right? Right. Um, what do they call the um 
Oh, I forgot the name. What? what uh, Crime Stoppers? Is that what? What's it called? What was Trayvon Martin? Uh, uh, neighborhood, neighborhood Watch. Neighborhood Watch. watch. Right, right. That's your right. Neighborhood Watch. That's your freelance. Yep. Right, yeah. He was George Zimmerman. He yep. was uh, right, right. He was freelance. Yep. yep. You know. Freelance Go ahead. The, uh, the, the the ones that uh, kill Ahmad Aubrey. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Same thing. Right. Same, Same exact thing. thing. That's what we're looking at. Go ahead. Less than two weeks before election day, orders are rolling in. Since last year, online purchases have driven a 20-fold jump in sales of goods like the 220CM6M gas mask resistant to beanbag rounds for mirror safety of Austin, Texas. It doesn't matter who gets elected, founder Roman, I can't even pronounce that, said of his new customers, they said they think that no matter who wins, Biden or Trump, there are going to be people who are upset about the result. Right. And this before you go, when you watch The Social Dilemma, it talked about this. Right. It talked about how heightened things is in America right now. Right. Well, how heightened they are right now in America. Whereas they they made things um, so opposite. They make everything the polar opposite. Like back in the day, Republican, Democrat, it's like, all right. But if, if the other party won, you know, you'd be mad and then you support the president. Right. But right now, it's like, if your person don't win, you want to raise hell. Like, right. you, you got to be a, a, what they call, a sore loser. Mm. Like, ah, oh, I can't support him. It's, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Remember, remember the group, though? It was a group. Um, they did old, good old boys, but they were saying if Trump, if Trump L- loses, right. then they coming yeah. after everybody. The, um, right. I forget their names. Yeah, I for- but the Proud Boys. The Proud right, Boys. the Proud Boys. Yep. So it shows you it's really not true if, if Trump or Biden right. win. Is it Trump, Trump lose? lose. Yep. That's Trump the only lose. thing they care about. Exactly. Dang. Exactly. If Trump loses, it's going down. And if Trump uh, win, Esau going to set up. Right. He's going right. to set up uh, blacks and Hispanics to protest through right. Black Lives Matter and all the right. other stuff. Because we don't really care about politics. Right. Black people care about politics two weeks before the election. <laughs> I guarantee right. you. We do a um we should we should pay Facebook to do a scan of how many political posts right. happened from African Americans right. from two thousand and twenty one to two thousand twenty three compared to two thousand and twenty four and watch right. what the numbers are. Right, right. It's gonna be right. zero to forty eight million. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> oh yeah, dope. I'm sorry. It says uh not long ago, perhaps a generation Dressing like you're going to war was for the veteran who never quite made it back from Vietnam or the angry young men who obsess who, who obsessed over gas masks and combat boots at the military surplus store. Every American town seemed to have one and only one. You know what, though? Uh, think about how America, well, I say Esau. They glorify war. There you okay, go. Look at all, look at, you know, your, your video games. Yep. Right. The, the favorite video games are war games. Mm-hmm. They always have the war themes. Mm-hmm. Um, you could go on Time Life and, and get the, uh, uh, relive all the wars right. that have been fought, you right. know, in, in America. They, they have a warmonger mind, yep. which we'll get, you know, the prophecy of that, but. Uh, this should not be surprising at all, and and even um, what's that? Doomsday Preppers, right? right. right. You know, that's the show that I used to watch uh, because I wanted to see, you know, how different is the mind of there Esau, you go. There you and go. and and they have their children as young as five and six years old, mm, while right. while we putting our kids in right. in football. their football, <laughs> and be- they got them already in uh, shooting competitions, yep. right, 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 right. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, knowing how uh, taking them to um, the ones that are in the farms, they they already taking them. Yeah, you know their their animals, uh, and getting awards for them and all of that. Yeah. They they are prepared. Right. You know what I'm saying? Natural born. Right. right. If we can't right now in the minds that that we currently are in, right, we can't compete with. Them. Hey, and also I want to hit on what you said uh, earlier. You said that that Esau glorifies war. Mm-hmm. I didn't even realize that when you, I know me growing up, um, I had PS2, PS3. I don't know if y'all had video games back then, but um, <laughs> I had Madden 1. <laughs> <laughs> but 
when I was playing the video games, y'all might get the the uh, Call of Duty and right. what was the other? I think it's um I forgot the other name. The major um 007? Not Battlefield, 007, not something Battlefield. like that. Uh, but anyway, it was it was about. one of them. But then you play World War One mm-hmm. and you go through World War Two mm-hmm. and you go through all these. Th- it's oh, like yeah, yeah. and it's brainwashing you to, to 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 be in that mindset. Yeah, and to love it and you learn the history. They put that history in everything. Right, right. like right. I ain't even I didn't even catch on to that until you, but Esau makes you an American. So right. right. Everything down to your video games, how you dress, to what you watch, to the curriculum, it all flows together. But when we try to do that, what happened? Live stream say, hey, y'all gotta get off. No, nope. right, right. right. Damn. <laughs> That's what happens. Right. Can't even speak about the other stuff we got coming because they're gonna try to take that down yep. too. Right. Damn. But that's that's the way this thing works, man. I was watching earlier Deacon Athan's class. Right. Deacon Athan was bringing out some heavy history, oh. right? Then it said stream stop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. For about 10, 15 minutes, you know? Hey, I want to bring out a scripture real quick. I'm just going to show y'all that we don't want war with Esau. I'm telling you that right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That ain't what you want. Nah. What you want is Christ to return. Mm-hmm. He right. can take them on. Mm-hmm. Right. But us right now, like you said, and, and our measly bodies mm-hmm. and, I, and our unmind like uh, mind, it ain't going to work. Hey, Cap, we can't even stand in the line for uh, for a Popeye sandwich. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so we definitely ain't ready right. for it. Right. Right. People can't right. even stay in order for a chicken sandwich. Damn. Yet you Bruh. think you want war? Nah. Right. Nah, we ain't ready for Not that. Not without yet. the power of the most high. Right, right, right. right. Go to Genesis 27, and uh, let's start at verse 40. <laughs> the Show book, y'all something about Esau. The book of Genesis, chapter 27 and verse 40. Start at 38. Bring it out. Start at 38. I'm going to show y'all the prophecy of why this man will not be defeated with arms that he created. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Because when you go back to Genesis 4, it shows you who created the weapons first. Right, right. And where that spirit rested with. Bishop went over that right. plenty of time. Yes, I ain't going into yes. it today. Right. <laughs> but, it, but it didn't start with us. Right. That, but that's mm-hmm. all I'm going to tell you. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. The book of Genesis, chapter 27 and verse 38. Uh-huh. And he said unto East, and Esau said unto his father, uh-huh. Has thou but one blessing, my father? Uh-huh. Bless me, even me also, O my father. Uh-huh. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth uh-huh. and of the dew of the heaven from above. So the first blessing that the Most High God gave to Esau is that he's going to dwell in the fatness of the earth. Mm. Meaning he's going to have the best real estate on the planet. Right. You want to know why uh, Orange County in California is by white people? Because God set it up like that. Right. You want to know why the the, the Russian uh, the Alps and all, this, all these different locations, Esau is there? Because that's how God set it up. Right. You're a white man! How do you go to Haiti and they got the resort? Right. How do you go to Africa and they on the beach? Right. right. Because the most I set it up like that. Hmm. Keep reading though. Verse 40. And by the sword. And what? And by the sword. And by the sword. If, if you simple and you can't translate it, that's guns today. Right. By the gunplay, trigger play, whatever, what they call it nowadays. Yeah, that's what they call that's it. gunplay. Yeah. What, what they, no, no, no. What's the other name they got for gun? What's the, what's the uh, cold heat. word? Yeah. The heat. Heat. Or whatever else. I, I might be old. Draco, I, I might be is. out of date. Yeah, you think you think that Draco <laughs> is only for black people? No. Right. Read. And by the sword uh-huh. thou shalt live. Read. And and shalt serve thy brother. Read. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So by the sword Esau will live. It is in his blood. Esau been waiting for war since the Civil War. Dang. Right. They wait for action. <laughs> He is waiting for that. He can't wait for Negroes to rise up. He, they right. be mad when we get a thousand men together and we ain't violent. Right. right. <laughs> wish these niggas would I wish it would. Up. Right. Right. It's waiting. It's, oh, go I'm ahead, sorry. Ahead, ahead, it showed, too, that they're on another level because I remember just being younger, I used to always think, like, um, we we would try to fight physically, right. and we knew better. Like we was better yep. fighters physically, yep. right. but they ain't thinking about fighting physically. Yeah, they know. got bombs, they got uh, guns, Drones. they got all these different things, drones that can blow stuff up. And we thinking on a minuscule level, like y'all so, saying. So we ain't prepared nah, to go against this man at all. Do it. Right, you right. can't do it. You will lose. And Thus saith the Lord. Right, right. And I'm, I'm gonna take y'all back a little bit. You know. <laughs> When I was young, they didn't. They wouldn't fight us one on one. Like rarely mm. um, did you ever see a brother fighting 
uh, Esau one on one. They would wait until they had numbers Dang. to right. try to jump us. Dang. So, so you mean to tell me black people got jumping from Esau too? <laughs> Esau would jump us. Yes. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Squad yeah. up. Because, because, because you know, yeah. <laughs> you just seen it. A uh, 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 brother take on two, three, right, eat them right, up. Right, right, right. They right. ain't doing that, you know, with no level of confidence. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Unless right. they got about eight, yep. you know. <laughs> That's how they would do. But, hey, read on, because you didn't get the, you ain't get that all yeah. that meat off of that he bone. Read, right. read. Verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of his blessing were with his father bless him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. So... Esau said, I will slay my brother, right? So, you know, brotherly love. Yep. Yeah, you don't have brotherly love, Esau. <laughs> right. All right, read on. Let's see, well, let's see the, the, the feeling he going to get. Verse, four, verse 42. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Esau put his hands on you, and he get comfort out of that right. thing. Dang. You're a white man. <laughs> Wait, finish that. Doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. That's what's in his spirit. Right. Right. Comfort. right. This man ain't right. Nah. Just, nah. Hey, let's get give me that in her back. Let me show you something. You know what? Let's hold on to it. Let's get some more. Let me read this. Some more. Let's hold on. Uh, nah, let's get, the, let's get the video, because, yeah. because I want to show you how Esau lies. It started like 23 seconds. We're going to go for like two minutes. That's all. I just want to show you Esau lies because, like I said, we, we, well, just play the video. <laughs> play the video. Pulled what it was last year. Major ammo manufacturers suggesting so it I might be hold July. Pause right there. I want y'all to see this, this image. Right. When have you gone into a store like that and there's a black man right, right. with all his guns behind him at the counter talking about, how can I help you? Never. <laughs> hey, it's funny you say that. I saw it was like the one gun store in America and it's in Nebraska. That's like the one where a black man actually owns it. Yeah. But like you say, you ain't gonna see that nowhere. I know I ain't never seen wow. that in my life. Hmm. Yep. In in Nebraska. In Nebraska. Yeah, I didn't know wow. black people is prevalent in Nebraska. It, it, yeah. In Omaha. We are. We are. And I saw um on my way back, uh I was in like uh Missouri. I was outside of St. Louis, right. but it's just a little small town and they had a big sign. They had a store and on the Big uh, sign on the on the highway, advertising over three thousand guns and how much Man. ammo they had. Wow. And this is just in like within the last month. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. In the in the middle of nowhere. Right, but 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 you want to take them on? Right, you know, right, we don't right. Understand. <laughs> I think we like thirty percent of the population, something like that. If that, if that. So when East, Esau is on the white man's side, just because they ain't in the uh, the clan or they ain't in the whatever, right, they right. in agreement. Right. How do you know they in agreement? Because they ain't voted. For you to get reparations yet. Mm. <laughs> ain't, it, ain't nobody stand up for you to do that. Right. So, uh, uh, they shooting you. Bro, uh, <laughs> one of the brothers up there told me that yesterday they had a rally, a Trump rally, and you know, up there where I live. Right. And um, they had a parade, and he said he was looking, and because uh, the road is a long, long road. Right. He said he was looking in just as far as he could see. It was cars lined up with police escort wow. with Trump uh, flags and all right. of that. You right. know what I'm saying? They love to fly them big uh, Confederate flags right. on the back no, of their trucks. I'm talking about the truck, yep. the, the flag so big, when the truck stopped, it just draped the whole truck. You don't even know what kind of truck it is because <laughs> the flag so big. And we seen that. We was uh, traveling down uh, with that camp that we had not too long ago. Right. I'm talking about the whole way down there. The, right. The cars were endless. You see Trump supporters, flags going all the way down the highway. But that's how you know he got and, a lot of people And you know what they got, there. right? Right there. On yep, that yep, side. Yep, that on the inside. Got, that's what Waiting. they rolling with, too. Waiting. A flag and a gun. <laughs> all right, let's go. Play the video. Actually suggesting it might be July 2021 or later for ammo to be fully stocked in stores as it was in January 2020. With ammo orders increasing 17 to 40 percent over the past three months. The November 3rd election will have a lot to say about that as well, as will the aftermath in the weeks and months to follow it. The election and the aftermath of the election combined with predicted COVID spikes in the fall and winter months, we may be looking at this getting worse. Vista Outdoors, 
producers of federal premium CCI and other ammo, have suggested they have made major adjustments in operations to meet demand. I certainly haven't seen that in stores. When we go to SHOT Show in January, we will interview leading ammo manufacturers to find out what exactly is going on and what their predictions are. I want to make a note at this point that we will not be showing SHOT Show interviews on YouTube in January. We'll be, we will be showing the top 10 list, but not the interviews. You All can right. only see. That's what I wanted. They ain't showing the interview. Hey, you don't need to know who these right, people right, are. Right, right. Hey, go do Ryan 2848. <laughs> I'll show y'all something. This is proof that we under the, the, the curfew. Because, like you said, we don't own bullet manufacturers. Right. We don't own gun manufacturers. Right. When you go nope. to the NRA meeting, it's basically a white man meeting. Right. Black people are in the NRA. We don't, we not, uh, what's the word? We, 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 we ain't no of the NRA. <laughs> <laughs> we are in right. the NRA, but we not oh. of the NRA. That, that, I like that. I like oh, that. Man. Read that scripture. Though. I'm going to show you. This is why we can't go to war with this man. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, Three. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst uh -huh. and in nakedness uh -huh. and in want of all things. Mm -hmm. In what? In want of all things. So mm -hmm. if the gun manufacturer <laughs> is your enemy in, in war, what are you going to do when he says, hey, oh, you the military? All right, we can't right. sell y'all. Sorry. Right. What you going to do then? That's why that that talk of 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 getting a a, a military against Esau in this carnal state, that's nonsense. You can't do it. Right. Come you on now. You cannot do it. And when you look at the history throughout the Israelites, when you understand who you are, you Israelites that are part of these militias, go look up what happened to the Zealots. Mm -hmm. Go look up to anybody that went against the powers of God right. when it wasn't of God. Go to First Maccabees real quick. Yep. Let's get that Bring history real quick. I'm yeah. going to show you out of the Bible yep. what happens when you're not moving in accord with what God tells you to do. Bring it out. And during the time of the Maccabees, they was able to defeat the other nations when God set them up. He already told us how we was going to be delivered here in America. It ain't happening like that. Christ is going to be our deliverer. You got that? The story when they wanted the um, First Maccabees 5. Or the Second Maccabees 5. Uh, first Second Maccabees. Maccabees. Yeah, First Maccabees. Five, 556. Started, uh, yep, started first. Absolutely right. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 5 and verse Bring it 56. Out. Yep. 56. Because, and I'm going to preface this. What a lot of these black militia groups are trying to do, they want a name. You can see it in the spirit of their leaders. Hmm. They want to set themselves up to be some great thing. They don't right, want to wait right, on right, the Messiah. Right, 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 right. They don't want to wait on Christ to deliver us. They want to be the reason why this is happening or that is happening. Right. Read that. Want a name. The right. They want a name. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 5 and verse 56. Uh -huh. Joseph, the son of Zacharias, and Azarias, uh -huh. captains of the garrisons, heard of the valiant acts and warlike deeds which they had done. So they heard about what Judas and Jonathan had did in the land. They saw them slaying people and making a name for themselves. What they do? Free. Wherefore they said, "Let us also get us a name." Let us what? Also get us a name. So when you're going back through the history, you see you see some of our great leaders and what they did. You see what Joshua did. You see what the Maccabees did. Right. Uh, who was uh, Judas? Um, who's some other leaders? David. All our great forefathers, and they trying to mimic that. Mm -hmm. But the Most High ain't dealing with us like that. <coughs> right. Right. Day. Right. He gave nope. us spiritual powers, and he gave us the understanding of the scriptures That's right. to know that we got to wait on God. But keep reading, though. And go fight against the heathen uh -huh. that are round about us. Read. So when they had given charge unto the garrison that was with them, they went to ward Jemnia. Uh -huh. Then came Gorgias and his men out of the city to fight against them. So they went to fight against the enemy outside of the accord of God. Let's mm -hmm. see what happened. And so it was that Joseph and Azarias were put to flight. That what? That Joseph and Azarias were put to flight. They were beat. They were defeated because it was not of God to go to war. Right. Read. And pursued unto the borders of Judea. Uh -huh. And there were slain that day of the people of Israel Read. about 2,000 men. Read. Thus was there was there a great overthrow among the children of Israel because they were not obedient unto Judas and his brethren? You see that? Because they were not obedient unto Judas and his brethren. Right. There's right. an order. Mm -hmm. When Christ left, remember, even before Christ left the scene, he told Peter, put up that sword. Mm -hmm. 
Now ain't the time. Right. When Christ came and descended on the earth, they said, hey, will thou now establish the kingdom? He said, it ain't time. He descended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to know we ain't fighting like that no more right. until Christ returns. They had the scriptures and didn't get it. Now we got the understanding and we're still trying to do the same thing. We think to do some valiant act right. amongst ourselves. Read that last line. But but thought, but thought to do some valiant act. That's what our people are chasing today. Mm -hmm. That's why you're seeing them trying mm -hmm. to raise up in arms against the enemy. Right. And, and, and you know, we, we, we talk hard. Right. We talk hard. Right. <laughs> but it's just like getting in a fight. You could throw a punch, but once you catch one, uh -oh. then, then everything changes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Just like you got a gun, you run around shooting, but then when the bullets start flying back, you know, that changed everything. Right. There you go. I'm going to show you that. Uh, stay in Maccabees. Go, uh, go over to 9 and 5. Let's see, let's see how quickly the hearts, of, uh, the hearts of men change. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 9 and verse 5. Bring it Now out. Judas had pitched his tents at Eliza. Uh, go ahead. And thousands chose chosen no, no, men read, read and 3,000 chosen men yeah. with them. So he had 3,000 chosen men. Go ahead. Who seeing the multitude of the other army to be so great were sore afraid. So wait a minute. <laughs> so now, just like, what was it, NAFC, whatever. Yeah. Now, when you see Esau just start climbing, just coming out the woods. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The kids, you know, Fight. all of them coming out and, and with multiple weapons right. apiece. Hmm. You know, you you got your one or two guns. Right, right. You you know each nope. one of them coming. They they got a uh, what they call them gun gun uh, chest. Right. They, they, yeah, a whole they, arsenal. They all got an arsenal. Right, right, right. Why right. are you on? <laughs> Where? Read on. Yeah, read on. Whereupon many conveyed themselves out of the host, uh -huh. in so much as there are bow of them no more but eight hundred men. So it's like what we read in the history of Gideon, right? So right. they, they, hey, hey, you see how you see how they were? Yeah, hey, hey, bro, I don't know, bro. Hey, right. Right. I'm going home, bro. You, you coming with me or what? Y'all tripping? I'm out. Right. Go ahead. Verse seven. When Judas therefore saw that his host slipped away and that the battle pressed upon him. He was sore trouble in his mind uh -huh. and much distressed that he had no time to gather them together. Read. Nevertheless, unto them that remain, he said, let us arise and go up against our enemies. If peradventure, we may be able to fight with them. Read. But they dehorted him, saying, we shall never be able. Let us now rather save our lives. And hereafter, we will return with our brethren and fight against them. For we are but few. Verse 10 is the point. Read that. Then Judas said, God forbid that I should do this thing and flee away from them. If our time be come, let us die manfully for our brethren and let us not stain our honor. So you got a lot of, a lot of brothers that talk tough. Right. right, right, right you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, but right. they ain't really about that. Like, no. They ain't really about. Because you know what? For one, they don't have nothing to die for. Right. Mm, that's heavy. Right. Hey, that's heavy. Can we go to uh First Corinthians Psych. chapter four, verse eleven, to show you that hey, yeah, it's it's all talk, right? But all they have, they don't even have to pick up a gun. They don't even have to pick up a weapon. They don't even got to meet you in the street. All they got to do is what attack the supplies that they giving you. Mm, right. right. You read that. The book of First Corinthians chapter four and verse eleven. Uh huh. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger uh -huh. and thirst uh -huh. and are naked. Right. It says even to this present hour, we still depend on our enemies for the food, right. the water, and the thirst. Right? right. So all they have to do is cut off those supplies, just mm. like uh what the cat was speaking about. If you go back in the history. You look at whenever an army wanted to take over the city, what would they right. do? They would <laughs> besiege the city. Yep. Yep. And they cut off what? Our food supply. That's mm -hmm. all they got to do. And it's done. Exactly. You're done with it. <laughs> game over. Yeah, game they over. used Just to like scream that. black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, 
These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.